Here's how to survive Coachella 2024. I'll give you three general tips and then go over the stages with a bunch of expert secrets laced in. Now let's jump right in. Tip number one, prepare for the weather. Coachella gets hot as shit. 2023 had high 80s the whole weekend. So drink lots of water. You will be dehydrated from the weather and the alcohol. So bring a refillable water bottle or a hydration pack so you can stay hydrated. They have refill stations here and they also give out free water at this end overdose tent next to the Yuma. If you pregame too hard, you will not last the whole day. So treat it like a marathon. Get good sleep, eat some food, and take breaks so you can recharge. Coachella also gets very dusty because you're on the polo fields, which are full of horse shit. Okay, maybe not, but there is a lot of grass and dirt. So bring a face covering like a bandana, mask, or pashmina, so you don't have black tar in your nose at the end of the night. Tip number two, plan your meetup spots with your friends. You're probably gonna split off to see different artists, so set a time and a place to meet. Like, meet at this robot at 10 p.m. before Blackpink set. If you have an iPhone, you can turn on your location to find your friends. This has helped me a lot in the past. But sometimes, cell phone service can be spotty, or someone might get their phone jacked. You never know what can happen, so it's best to have a backup meetup spot just in case. Losing all your friends at a festival sucks. I've been there before, and I don't wish it on anyone. And tip number three, wander around a bit. Coachella is so much more than just the music. They have art installations, immersive experiences, delicious food, and all sorts of tent with different activities for you to participate in. So take time to explore the grounds with no set intention. Get lost in the Antarctic Dome, find your inner child in a ball pit, or stumble into a nightclub where you least expect it. You'll never know what you'll find at Coachella, so be open to exploring the unknown. Now let's go over the stages. First, we have the Coachella stage. This is the main stage that has all the biggest acts, amazing production with giant screens, lasers, and lights everywhere. This is about a 10 minute walk from the entrance, and there are speakers throughout the whole field, so the sound is still good, even if you're really far. Now, there is no shade here, so the daytime can get really hot. And if you wanna see those big name artists, you should probably get there like an hour or two before the set to get a good spot because it gets packed. Next, we have the outdoor stage. This is like a second main stage and it's right next to the Coachella stage. It's furthest from the entrance, about a 15 to 20 minute walk, but it's close to the Indio Central Market, which is a huge shaded area with a bunch of food and alcohol. So if you need to cool down, you could just run in real quick, chill for a little, and then get back out there. This is also a great place to catch a sunset set. It just feels so right. But there's also no shade here, so it gets hot in the day. I like to stay on the right side of the stage because there's not as much traffic coming in from the rest of the festival. Next up, we have the Sahara. This is a massive tent that has mostly EDM acts and a couple big name hip hop artists. It's right next to the festival entrance, you cannot miss it, and has the biggest production by far with massive screens, lights, lasers, pretty much everything you want in a stage. It also has the most lit crowd because they're a lot younger and they have a lot more energy. So it's a lot of fun. Here I also like to stay on the right side of the stage because there's way less people coming from the rest of the map. Next we have the Do Lab. This is my all time favorite stage. It's a colorful tent that plays mostly electronic music and it's right next to the Sahara tent. They have misters here and people on stage will spray you with water guns. It's just such a good vibe here. Everyone's super chill, everyone's having a good time and it just feels like a summertime party. They have surprise guests every night and they'll post them on their Twitter and IG stories a couple hours before. Every time I come here, I find a new artist that I love. And if you find your way here, you might even get lucky and find someone throwing lights. What do I do when lost and confused? Do lab. Next we have the Yuma. This is an indoor tent that plays house and techno. This is one of my favorite stages because it feels like you're in your own separate world. This is perfect for the daytime because they blast AC and there's no sunlight coming in. It took me three years to finally wander into this tent and I ended up loving it. So I highly recommend you at least check out the Yuma for a little bit you might find something really dope in there. The only downside is sometimes the lines can be super long to get in because they crowd control. But if you're ballsy enough, you can run in through the exit and they won't stop you. Next, we have the Mojave. This is a smaller tent with a lot of indie rock bands. 
There's usually lots of space here. We also have the Gobi, which has a lot of these smaller up and coming artists perform there. Don't sleep on these tents because there are some crazy good performers that you can catch before they blow up. The Sonora tent is also a small indoor tent where they play a lot of Latin music and punk rock. And finally, there's the Heineken house. This is a walled off building with an open beer garden and there's usually DJs playing hip hop and trap here. If there's a big name playing, then the line can get super long. So you wanna get there early to lock in your spot. Last year, Anderson Pack was playing a DJ set and the line was like an hour and a half long. I didn't wanna wait, so I went to Doolab. No regrets. Walking across the fields all day can get really exhausting. And so if you miss a DJ set because you don't wanna walk 20 minutes to the opposite side of the map, that's totally fine. I used to beat myself up for missing artists, but nowadays I know sometimes I just need a recharge. And if I go to an artist set and I'm super tired, I might not enjoy it as much. So if you need to take a break, take a break. You're here to have a good time. Having a loose schedule has worked the best for me in the past. And my favorite memories come from the most random, unexpected moments. I hope to see you at Coachella. If you like this video, you'll love the next one.